Here's our next shape. It's called the trigonal bipyramidal molecule. And that is a molecule that is formed when we have one central molecule and five appendages, so to speak, five terminal molecules at the end of five bonds. A good example of that would be uh, phosphorus uh, pentachloride. Uh, notice we have one phosphorus atom, five chloride atoms. Phosphorus has five valence electrons, so it could make up to five bonds, five single bonds. Each of the chlorine atoms would like to have one additional electron to fill its valence shell, so it's going to have a sharing arrangement. In this case, there's going to be five of those sharing arrangements making those five bonds. Those are single bonds. Now, the question is, what will that molecule look like? Would it look like a little bit like a starfish with five appendages like that? And uh, then it would be a planar molecule. But then again, if it was a planar molecule, the bond angle between each, because remember these, these electrons that are bonding, uh, they will repel each other and you, they will, of course, want the largest possible angle. The largest angle you could have when it's a planar molecule would be 72 degrees. That's not very much. So there's actually a different arrangement that these molecules can set up in such a way that the angles between them is larger. So one molecule can go to the top, one molecule can go to the bottom like this, and then these three will stay in a planar sense so three of them in a plane, that's where the trigonal comes from. And then, of course, the bipyramid molecule shows that at the top we have what we would call, hmm, I'm not doing so well here, but let me get it arranged like this. So at the top we have what we call a three-sided pyramid. At the bottom we have a three-sided pyramid. And if you put them base to base, you end up with a three-sided pyramid on top, three-sided pyramid at the bottom, and you put a molecule like that. So... So this forms the base for the top pyramid and for the bottom pyramid. Notice if you connect these two to this one, you have one side of the pyramid. Connect these two to this one, you have the second side. Connect those two to this one, you have the third side in the back. Same at the bottom, and you end up with a shape like that. When you have a shape like that, notice that the angle between the molecules in the plane, that angle becomes equal to 120 degrees, which is of course far greater than the 72 degrees, a much preferred situation. And then the angle between these three bonds and the bond at the top, and these three bonds and the bond at the bottom, those are right angles, so the, there the angle is equal to 90 degrees. But again, much larger than 72 degrees, and so you end up with a molecule that uh, ends up looking like this. Three molecules like this in a plane, one straight up, one straight down, and that's what we call the trigonal bipyramidal molecule. So that's the basic shape in the case that you end up with one central molecule and five terminal molecules at the end like that.